Welcome to the second round of the National Invitational Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. This should be an entertaining game between the Villanova Wildcats and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch up here? I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential they control the tempo of the game. He'll regroup the offense. The Hawkeyes should be in for what looks like an insurmountable battle, Dick. What are the keys for them to get a victory tonight? Well, there's a few things that they absolutely have to do. First, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second of all, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. And finally, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Ten on the shot clock. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Inside. There's the trap. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. There he is, puts the ball loose. For the bucket. Easy one. Try to pack it inside. Pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He uses the shot fake. The center handles the feed. Doesn't go. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He shoots from left of the circle. He hits it. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. Show me that one again. He unloads. He can't get and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way off target. Set that screen away. He shoots from the top of the key. Number one is emotionally fired up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Wide open for the shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Fed the low block. Number 44 receives the pass. That was nice. Number 20 handles the pass. He 
gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Inside. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. He strips him clean. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Receives the ball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Work it around the arc. He puts up the three ball. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. He's got some room. He goes for three. Tickles a twine. That's nine unanswered. Both teams looking to get things going here. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. Time three quarter position. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Now the high screen goes. Get that sucker out of the game, man. There was no doubt about that one. A three. That's good. <laughs> Takes away the pass. <laughs> With the jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Double team now, bad angle. Number 52 with the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Up it inside. He unloads a three, drains the shot. We get another look. Lazy pass on the dribble, gives it up. Too much. That's a foul. 
Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, it's still close and it's very early, but there needs to be some sense of urgency on the favorites bench tonight so this one doesn't get out of hand, guys. Thanks, Erin. From right in the circle, he gets the bucket. He looks for three. Iowa have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. Moving it around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. Off the rim and no good. And in and out. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Turnover. The Hawkeyes are almost expected to be at the national tournament these days. The recent success has garnered greater expectations. Hey, Brad, once you have this reputation, everything seems to fall into place. Recruiting becomes easier. The alumni starts to get a vow. You appear on ESPN. Things just start to roll. Good job defensively. Fires it down. They work the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way off target. Looking for the foul. Sinks it. Look at that spacing. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He takes the shot. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Get the catch. Nice execute. He got the layup to go, and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. the free throw line makes the shot for two I tell you terrific shot really impossible to get a piece of that baby Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Got some room. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Gave it up. 
Number 52 with the steal. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. They'll work it around the arc. There it is, Jam City. I want to see that again. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? For the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Working it around the perimeter. Thinks about the shot. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Trying to draw the foul. The lay -in. that basketball the ball goes out of play those are the types of plays you want a lot of these kids are on a roll look at them celebrating with one another hey can you blame them Brad? they're playing well up and inside leans in great play to take that to the basket Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Stolen. for a good shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. From left of the circle, Villanova have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Blocks it. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. From three-point range, he buries the shot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Ten seconds on the clock. Strips the ball. They run it up into transition. Tries for two. Makes the shot. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. For two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. For the 
bucket. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Dump it inside. Tries for two. Villanova are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He's open if he wants the shot on the top of the circle. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. City now where he's really the gate any offense. Look at that spacing. Top of the circle, it sticks. We get another look. paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. He puts up the tray, drains it. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Number 44 steals the ball. For two, goes. He went right through that double team. And let's see if they decide to double next time down. Stolen away. Shot clock is dead. Goes in. With the fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. I tell you, uses the ball really well, too, in terms of putting it to the jack, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. And the ball goes out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate, too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. On the top of the circle. That was nice. At halftime, the Hawkeyes are trailing by 10. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. has played a pretty consistent game so far, but the score is still way in favor of the opposition. Hey, there are four of the players on the floor, Brad. We can't fault this young man for this blowout. In the second half, more players need to contribute. On a day like today, when your star isn't dominating, the other players need to carry some of the load. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, uh, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. Number 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you gotta protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Rejects it on the dribble, gives it up. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. There's the fake. Turnaround jumper off the rim and no good. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing the ball and man. Gave it up. With the fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Number one with the foul. First personal foul. Is a three. Iowa are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. A high screen. He shoots from right of the circle. It's good. Great play to take that to the basket. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Controlling the ball. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. On the outside. He wants a three. Way off target. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Nice little jam right there, a one-hand jam and stuff. A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. They go in. 
inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 10 picks up the foul. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I tell you, three quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Iowa are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They'll work it around the arc. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Long lead pass, puts it up, looking for contact. Number one, makes the finger roll. He dials long distance, great shot. Goes up for two. In and out. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Makes the shot. <laughs> Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Number one steps up to the line. It's good. He gets it to go. Makes the foul shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. They work it around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. And he'll kick it back outside. Outside jumper. Villanova are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, perfectly executed. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Cue the rewind button, boys. look from three-point land work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart 10 seconds on the shot clock now 
they work it around the perimeter. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I did a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. There's the trap. He's going nowhere. Going Ball's nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, Got a nice oh. screen. He shoots from downtown. Buried it. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The skip pass is picked off. Mr. Nestle, easy bucket coming here. He gets that one to fall. With a little baby hook. I'll tell you, a great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Knocks it down. They'll work it around the arc. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Man, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Side. Nice pass to the low block. He gets the bucket to fall. He did a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. There's a double team waiting there. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Number 24 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, down here on the sidelines, I'm close to the favorites bench. Word coming from their huddles are, we've been in this situation before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win. Iowa are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. from three-point land. He drains the shot. The Hawkeyes are behind by seven. Gave it up. The shot from the baseline. Way off target. There's the pick. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries to get the D to bite. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down to the post is where you can gain a lot of offensive action. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He takes the three. He drains it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The defense is taking a beating. Back to the drawing board, baby. Double team now, bad angle. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Takes it away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Picked out of the air. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The ball goes out of bounds. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Gave it up, picked off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals a pass. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. Basket falls despite the contact. It. Well, Dick, this game is all but over. Start the bus, baby. This one is over. The winning team can relax. They're over there feeling good. On the outside. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense. The people in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Take some pride on the defensive end. He takes it away. Goes 
those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to buy him. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. He is going to the line. He gets it to go. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Stolen away. Shoots from outside. Goes. Intercepted on the dribble, gives it up for two. Nice shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Nice high post screen. He misses it. Picks off the pass. They still don't score. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Fakes the jumper. They move it into the front court. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They'll work it around the arc. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Shoots it. Got it. Great defense. Got the high pick. Gets it to fall. Shot clock is dead. Let's face it. Cross court. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. The ball goes out of play. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. They just keep rolling along, Dick. We kind of expected it would go this way, and they came out on top of the ballgame. I'll tell you one thing. It's all about winning. It's all about executing and getting to the locker room with the W, and that's what they were able to do. Survive and win.
You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Iowa gets blown out. The question is, is anyone surprised? Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.